let's check solutions, once again being careful with our negative numbers in the calculations. Number 3. Is x equals negative 2 a solution to the equation 4 times x plus 9 equals 1? Step 1. Substitute the variable with the given value. The value that they gave us for x is negative 2, so we will take the equation and replace the variable with negative 2. Use parentheses when substituting into a variable with a coefficient. That way we know that we are going to multiply 4 times this negative 2. How did we substitute? In step 1, we took the value negative 2 and replaced the variable with negative 2 using the parentheses because we were substituting into a variable that had a coefficient of positive 4. Step 2. Evaluate each side until it's a comparison of numbers. So over here on the left side, we'll start by multiplying before we add the 9. Multiplying positive 4 times negative 2 is going to be 8. We're multiplying positive times negative, so it's going to be a negative 8. Negative 8 plus 9, or a negative 8 and a positive 9 will combine using different sign rules. We will subtract 9 minus 8 equals 1, and we will keep the sign of the greatest, which is the positive 9. And so now we know that this will be a positive 1. And on the other side, the right-hand side, we never had to evaluate any calculations because it was always just a 1. We just brought it down each time. And so now we have evaluated each side, and we have a comparison of numbers. How did we evaluate each side? We evaluate the left-hand side using the rules we learned when dealing with negative numbers in our operations, starting out by multiplying and then combining with the different signs. Step 3. Check if the value is a solution. Once again, we take a look at this final comparison. If it's true, then it is a solution. If it is not true, it is not a solution. 1 equals 1 is a true comparison. So the answer is yes, x equals negative 2 is a solution. How did we check if the value is a solution? To check that the value was a solution, we took a look at the final number comparison. Because it was a true comparison, 1 equals 1, then that tells us that the value that made this comparison, which was negative 2, is a solution to our original equation. You are now ready to check the solution and be careful using negative numbers for problem number 4.